microSD cards. The easiest thing is to uh, put in your microSD card into the adapter and then use the right to tap the button on, on, on it. If you, 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 uh, you, you can, by doing so, uh, the computer cannot write any data on your SD card, then the SD card will become read only. And then the next thing to do is, uh, actually, if you are trying to do data recovery, don't do it with the actual hardware, but how to do it. Uh, actually, Unix or Linux provide a utility called DD. Anyone know DD? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. DD actually uh, trying to uh, block by block copy the data from your hardware to a image files, uh, but DD have some problems. The problem is that DD is not error prone. So in the data recovery situation, your hardware is uh, can, can have a high possibility of uh, having a read error. So uh, if you are doing the DD and the DD got a read error, it will stop. It will not doing anything. So the prop, the, the, some, some smart people already solved this problem by writing another piece of software called DD Rescue. Mm. The DD Rescue will try to, uh, try to continue the... <laughs> we'll, try to, we'll, we'll try to continue the, the, the imaging process, even if it encounters some weak error. In uh, the open source world, we have two implementations of DD Rescue. And actually, uh, the one that I uh, recommend is uh, GDD Rescue. If you are using uh, Debian or Ubuntu, you can install this package, GDD Rescue. And then uh, the next thing to do is to unmount your micro SD card. And then uh, using the DD Rescue or GDD Rescue to image, to make an image of your micro SD card using uh, DD Rescue. And then you can put your micro SD card away and then you don't have to fiddle with it anymore. And only you, you only have to do with the image. <coughs> After you have that micro SD card image, what you can do? Uh, mm -hmm. if if you uh, if it's the problem of your micro SD card is uh, the partition table is messed up, you can use uh, part part or test this and to recover the partition table. If uh, if if you even you try to uh, recover the partition table, but the data is still not there, you can use uh, MMLS to extract the partitions. But my problem is not the partition. The partition has been formatted. So uh, what I try to do is to uh, do uh, file signature based file extraction or mm. in technical terms we call it file crafting. We try to <coughs> you know craft the, is to uh, guard, guard, guard the data from the from your from your image. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, actually, this uh, this technique is uh, invented by the uh, U.S. Air Force Laboratory laboratory to recover. They came there. They trying to recover the data from the from the from the crash plane. Yeah, but actually, I I I I'm highly skeptical about uh, <laughs> about this. And actually, uh, in the Unix world, uh, we have uh, quite a few uh, utilities. And, uh, and this one, foremost, is the one invented by the uh, U.S. Air Force Laboratory. You can try this first, but uh, in my case, I try the photo rack because uh, it is uh, still actively developed. And uh, if, you are, if you want to install it on your, on your uh, Ubuntu or Debian system, you have to install a package test disk, I don't know why it's called test disk, not, not uh, <coughs> photo web. And 
Like after you install this uh, package, you will have like command called photo wag, and then you just uh, do photo wag, and then output top image, the like image created by the DD rescue, and then you will greet with a uh, uh, curl space application. Yeah, and then uh, you just follow the on screen, on screen uh, instruction. And because we have uh, tell them to tell the photo web to use this image, and then he will ask, the, actually the image is called Anita. The Anita image, and then uh, press start. And then he will, the, the, the software will ask me uh, which partition I want to, I want, actually want to uh, recover the data. Uh, in most of the case, it is better to choose unknown rather than select uh, the partition on your, on, your, on, your, on, your, on your SD card. And then specify the previous long uh, file system. Actually, I know that the file system is fast, so I select fast. And then uh, the, and specify the, the, the location you want the recover data to, to, to replace. And then the data recovery process will be start. And as you can see, uh, the photo web can uh, recover JPEG, PNG, MP3, MOV, DXT, and a lot more, PDF, whatever. And uh, for a 64 gig uh, micro SD card, it takes about two hours. After two hours, I have uh, one big directory of all the JPEG files. Actually, the file length will, will, will be uh, relaying, will, will not be the original length. <laughs> and then, uh, as, as I know, the SD card is about 90% uh, full before. But actually, I can only recover 10 gig of data. Actually, because of the, 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 the format and the releasing new data, after the When you do the data recovery, actually, you just scan for the JPEG file in your file system. It will also capture some thumbnails. You you, you want to re, uh, remove those uh, thumbnail by using this command. Uh, for example, if the file size is less than uh, 1000K, you, you, you don't want to copy it into, file des into your file destination for large JPEG. Remember to back up your uh, micro SD card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And if you are yeah, when you when you come to a situation of uh, data loss, don't do anything if you don't know what you are doing. Don't try to download random software from uh, online and then do the data recovery. And uh, remember the number one rule of uh, data recovery is to reduce the write. Don't write any new data to your micro SD card. And the practice of data recovery is to first imaging your hardware and then do the uh, data recovery. And the tools that I use today we use for, for this project is the DD Rescue and the Photo Web. That's all. Any, pro any questions? So, uh, data that you have recovered, are they corrupted or have any? Actually, uh, some of them are corrupted. Another problem of the photo web is that uh, even they encounter a large JPEG, if uh, some of them, uh, if uh, some part of it is uh, corrupted, it will extract the thumbnail from the from the from the JPEG file. So uh, this this is one kind of corrupt. Another kind of corrupt is that uh, even the file cannot be opened again. So I use some utility to scan for the e EXIF, right? EXIF data from the from the files. If the EXIF is in the file, I will copy it to another directory. Meaning this is this is not a not a uh, failed file. Yeah. No questions. Yeah. Uh, if I don't have any adapter, 
or I don't have any uh, right to protection that time. Yeah. How could I mount the SD card without any right to protection? <laughs> Tough question. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot do the hardware hardware wise uh, the right protection. You can use the software wise. Uh, the number the number one thing I can think of is after you plug in your micro SD card, you immediately unmount it using 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 the command line maybe. After you unmount it, the risk of uh, writing is reduced a lot. Right. If I you uh, if I use Linux without uh, GUI, use TUI, will it mount uh, automatically? Uh, it depends on your configuration. Uh, uh, the for 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 for, for Debian, yes. Debian, it will not yeah. automatically mount. So I, if I rewrite the configuration of uh, mount position, yeah, it will. It will not mount the SD card automatically. Yeah. Or anything else of a Linux distribution. I I am not so sure about Ubuntu. Any Ubuntu people here? Uh, Ubuntu for the for the server versions, no. But okay. for the desktop version, yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if I modify the configuration, it will not auto uh, mount automatically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions? <coughs> then any tools to make sure that those data are not recoverable. I mean, either you wait, wait many times to make sure they are not recoverable, right? Something like that. Uh, if, 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 you, if you want your data to be unrecoverable, <laughs> it's very easy. Uh, the first thing to do is to encrypt your, is to encrypt your, your, your hard disk or encrypt your SD card. You will never be able to re uh, recover unless you have your FBI agent. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the other way is to use uh, low-level formatting. If you if you try to destroy your data, use low-level formatting. That's in the yeah. So next time, if you buy a new phone or, or a second-hand phone from 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 Tobo or from <laughs> from Yahoo, you can do this thing. <laughs> Yeah, but your SD card is okay as well. <laughs> yeah, any questions? More questions? Uh, another question. Okay. Uh, we talk about a uh, DD command. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I do something uh, about my CD, CD ROM. Yeah. Uh, I, when I mount the CD and I use C, uh, DD command, we can uh, use DD command to uh, image the CD ROM yeah. into an ISO file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, some uh, some of CD, uh, for example, I I have a I'm a player of uh, some PlayStation PlayStation games. Yeah. When I mount the PlayStation game CD ROM, uh, uh, DD command will not uh, completely uh, uh, image in the uh, ISO file. Okay. However, uh, when I use uh, Apple uh, 120 percent, yeah. it uh, can convert uh, them into uh, alcohol file. For example, uh, MDF and MDS, yeah. but uh, it it is a illegal software if I yeah, yeah, <laughs> if yeah, yeah, crack yeah. them. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, MDF uh, is not cannot be uh, mount it easily. Yeah. Uh, ISO is a I, uh, ISO file is a universal file for uh, image. Yeah. Uh, how could, uh, is there any way to uh, convert the PlayStation game? CD wants into an ISO file easily. You can try DD Rescue if your if, DD, if rescue. The, DD Rescue if the only problem ah, is yeah. weak error. Yeah, ah. it's weak error yeah. yeah, if if only the, the problem is weak error. If there is any other you know encryption or something right protection, yes. weak protection, then I cannot help you. Sorry. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> any problem? Uh, any questions? Okay. You mean your internal memory, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can still do it. You you can do 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 these things. Uh, you just uh, use a SD uh, USB cable, 
to call match your phone into your computer, like into your computer, I guess. And then uh, if it detect any uh, internal memory in your in your phone, you can still do the DB rescue to image your internal memory of your phone. Yeah, of, of course, <laughs> it's better to, to, to prevent the problems rather than to solve the problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any more questions? No? Then the next speaker? Yeah, okay. <laughs>